When looking into the water as anglers, we see the endless possibilities. We might agree with the casual passerby, the river is intrinsically pleasant, but the potential is so much more. And for me, this is particularly true for fly fishing. Behind the slack of a big rock, or in the deep pool under the tree, could be the elusive brown trout we spend so much time preoccupied with. If you are lucky and catch the perfect drift, you might just trick it. At least, that's the idea. Well, I'm out today for my first fly fishing excursion of the season. Um, I had to wait until the 1st of April to get out on this particular water because that's when the club rules state you can trout fish. But we are out. It's the 2nd of April. I've got very high hopes. We've had a lot of rain over the last week, but it's all dropping away now. Um, there's a nice bit of colour into this water and it's a really nice warm day. So, fingers crossed we can walk up this stretch, maybe find a trout. Let's walk up, see what we can do. This early in the season I decided to try nymphing. These were the flies I'd had the most success with in the previous season, so I was really just picking up where I'd left off. As I waded upstream, there were many deeper pools that looked absolutely perfect to drift a nymph through, hoping for a bite. Unfortunately, after about three hours fishing, I hadn't even had a single sniff. So I decided to pack up for the day and try again another time. The very next weekend I was back out fishing exactly the same stretch. This time I decided to bring two rods with me. One was set up for nymphing while the other I had a dry fly on. Now this may have been a bit optimistic as the weather was still quite cold and I hadn't seen any fish rise, but a trout on a dry fly was very much one of my targets for this trout season. I rigged up my rods and headed upstream, fishing all the likely looking pools as I went. This session followed the same pattern as the previous one. After several hours fishing, I hadn't even had a sniff, and I waded back down the river towards the car with my tail firmly between my legs. I arrived back at the car just in time to enjoy a brilliant Yorkshire sunset. Maybe it just wasn't quite time for the trout to be fully active yet, and I would have to wait a couple of weeks. While I wasn't out on the riverbank looking for the trout, I certainly wasn't inactive. I got very interested in net building and built my own trout net. A couple of weeks went by and the opportunity came round again. Temperatures had warmed up and I had real hope that I might be able to get my first trout of the season. Well, here we are out again after some trout on the fly. I was getting a little bit nervous actually when we drove over the moors north. Um, we dropped through some cloud, visibility was awful, and when we came through the other side and started to go back down into the valleys, it was absolutely hammering it with a really fine rain, the kind that gets you absolutely soaked through. But now we've gotten down into the lowlands again, it's all dry and clear, although there are some threatening clouds, let's hope they blow straight over. I'm going to get my kit out and we're going to walk upstream and see if we can find some good looking spots to pull some trout out of. I've not actually landed a trout on the fly yet this trout season and that needs to change very very soon. Let's see what we can do today. Well, my fly fishing journey today is taking me ever slowly upstream. I think just for ease at the moment, I'm gonna pack you down, stick you in the bag so I can keep wading and I don't have to worry about keep returning to pick you up and bring you along with me. As soon as we hook a fish, if we hook a fish, I'll obviously get you out and we'll show it to the cameras. Anyway, we're gonna keep wading upstream. I've had a couple of inquiries, but not managed to hook into anything yet. I think they're just some small little par, something like that. Maybe we'll get one of those out, who knows. Yes, we're into one on a dry fly as well. Amazing. First use of the net. Yeah, there we go. Well, this trout represents a number of firsts for me. It's the first one I've ever caught on a dry fly, which is absolutely fantastic. I saw it come out from under some bushes on the far side and absolutely smash that fly off the top. Brilliant stuff. It's also the first fish that I've caught in the new net that I made, specifically to come out here when I'm wading. And uh, absolutely brilliant. I am so, so happy. I'll have a very quick look and then we'll slip this one back.
Well, absolutely brilliant there. We just slipped that one back and uh, phenomenal. The net, yes, the net, finally got to use it. Oof, happy days, happy, happy days. There's been a few trout actually splashing while I was filming that little section. So um, we're obviously gonna flick this dry fly out again and we'll see if we can get another one off the top. Encouraged by the feeding trout in this location, I had quite a few more casts. Unfortunately, nothing really seemed to be that interested. And after a little while, I decided I was going to reel in and move on upstream to find some more willing fish. As is always the way, just as I was bringing my dry fly in for the final time, a small fish decided to have a swipe. It unfortunately missed, and I decided it was definitely time to move on. Moving up the bank, I eventually came across a deeper pool right on a bend. There seemed to be quite a few trout feeding in this location, so I decided it was going to be worth a few casts. It was getting a little bit later in the day as well, and there were lots of hawthorn fly buzzing around and occasionally falling in the water. I decided to switch my flies up and try a hawthorn fly imitation to see if matching the hatch would work. Yeah, we're in. Yes. Absolutely brilliant. Another nice fish there. Really good stuff. Dry fly again. Brilliant. Get this guy in. Yes. Another really nice brown trout. Absolutely amazing. Well, as if by design, I managed to creep up, present a fly a few times, just trying to get it in the right place. And finally, when I got the right drift, this trout hit it, absolutely no questions asked. My second trout on a dry fly today, absolutely mega. We're just resting it down in the net and then we'll slip it back in a second. While I was releasing this particular trout, some fish started to feed downstream of me. I quickly got out, walked around to try and get behind them in order to present a good cast in the hope of catching one. Yes, we're in. That was perfect. Yes, absolutely brilliant. Oh, nice trout again. Get him in the net. Okay. Yep, in he goes. Brilliant. Well, absolutely brilliant. We're into a third fish for today. I did a couple of casts with that dry fly, just lining up the distance. And then I think on the second one, when I wasn't even ready, it just hit it on the top. We managed to connect to it. Mega, mega stuff. I'm just going to rest it down in the net, as always, and we'll slip him back in just a second. Well, unfortunately, it is now home time for me. Um, I feel like I was really just getting into the swing of things as well. But uh, three absolutely cracking wild brown trout, all caught on a dry fly. Cannot ask for more than that from a day's fishing. Got to christen my new landing net as well that I built, which is absolutely fantastic. It works, that's good. Um, <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get down very, very soon and give it another crack. Like I say, I feel I was just getting into the swing of things and um, everything was just starting to line up for me. Anyway, we'll be back down very, very soon, I hope. Reflecting on the session just gone, I decided my success might be helped by fishing thinner leaders and smaller flies. I put in an order and a few days later it arrived, just in time to head out again for another crack at the trout. All right, folks, we are back out. Um, there's been a lot of rain, so there's a bit of colour. I'm fortunate that there's not too much colour that I don't think the trout will be able to feed in this. I'm pleased to see quite a lot of hawthorn fly still flitting around as well. So I'm going to get my kit out of the car and uh, we are going to get some fishing done. I'm going to hike up the bank to a spot that I fished last weekend and we're going to pick up from there. Also, let's just not talk about the socks and sandals. It's a look, okay? Let's get some kit. Well, we're just about ready, and as is always customary, the barbel necker, that seems to bring us pretty good luck when we wear it. So, um, 
Let's go for a hike down the bank and uh, we'll see where we end up. Despite some extra colour in the river, things were actually looking quite good. As I walked down along the river bank, I managed to spot a few fish taking insects off the surface. Unfortunately, I wasn't going to be able to make a cast to any of these fish I'd spotted. There were just far too many overhanging branches and I would have gotten instantly snagged. Instead, I carried on up the river bank, searching for some fish that might be easier to catch. Yes, we're in. Little one, <laughs> but uh, a fish nonetheless. Yep, there we go, in the net. Brilliant. Oh, nice. Well, I'm really, really happy with this. The first beat choice I made, and uh, we're into a nice little brown trout. I saw it wolfing down insects off the surface from the far bank, so I managed to sneak down the river, back up into position, present a fly to it, and we were in. Absolutely made up. There's already another trout taking off the surface in front of us. So we'll slip this guy back quickly, and then we'll see if we can get another one. Small, small fish. <laughs> yeah, there we go. For real. Little tiny, tiny trout. Well, in the pool just in front of me, there were a lot of trout feeding. They were only small fish, but I thought I might as well try and get one. And indeed I did. I had to slim down all the way to a size 20 spider, floated along the top and then eventually one of them took it. I spent far too much time fishing for these tiny trout, but it's absolutely brilliant fun, just testing out the different flies. Um, we're gonna get this guy back now. After catching this small trout from the pool, I decided to move on and see if I could find some slightly bigger fish. Unfortunately, we seemed to really hit the lunchtime lull and fishing slowed down. For a couple of hours, I didn't see any fish taking insects off the surface and I didn't hook anything else. I kept searching and found some really good looking areas and even switched tactics, putting on some nymphs again to try and drift them through some deeper, faster pools. Unfortunately, this didn't bring anything, so I decided to walk back down the river bank towards the car, keeping half an eye on the river for any fish that might show themselves. Fortunately, just as I got towards the car, I did spot a couple of trout taking some insects on the surface. I thought it was definitely worth a last cast to see if I could catch one of these. Yes, we're in, we're in at last. Feels like a slightly better fish. Yeah, that's a nice trout. Best fish of the day. Let me go down. Yes! Nice fish that, really nice brown trout. Wow, absolutely mega. Well this one was a real test of patience. I was fishing a dark fly, a black fly, which has brought all of my bites on here so far, but um, it just was not having it. it swiped at it once but I didn't manage to hook up to it which is really really close just just missed it but um after that I didn't have any more bites so I decided to switch my fly and uh, there's a lot of midges and things floating around on the top so I put a little brown dry fly on and sure enough a couple of casts later the nicest trout of my uh, season so far is in the net not a big one but a very very hard one fish absolutely amazing colors on it as well We'll give it a bit of a rest and then we'll slip it back.
Well, I'm really glad I stopped to fish that final spot. That was an absolutely brilliant trout. A little bit cagey to start with, but a fly swap managed to entice that trout on. What an absolute beaut. I've already got the car loaded up and we're just about ready to head home. Unfortunately, I seem to have developed a hole in my waders, so my trousers and socks are a little bit wet, but fortunately I've got sandals, so I'm all good. Anyway, let's head off home. The end of this session wrapped up my early season's trout fishing. It was great to have already completed one of my targets of catching wild brown trout with a dry fly. I was excited to take this method onto other rivers in search of more brown trout.